This is an HP NV4512 printer, and it's giving me an error uh, in cartridges problem. Remove and reinstall indicated ink cartridge, making sure it is correctly installed. And I scroll down, and it shows me that is the color one that needs some attention. We're going to try to fix that. First thing we'll do is we'll open up the um, front cover here while the printer is on. And we'll let that slide over. The cartridges are here. We're going to open the color cartridge and check out what's wrong with it. Um, usually what you would have, or not usually, but sometimes what will cause that error is uh, maybe the cartridge is good, but um, this area could have ink. And same with here, you'll see ink uh, on, on here that's preventing the printer from reading. Uh, the cartridge properly. Let's remove both cartridges and um, what I like to do is just go ahead and clean those areas. For that area I like to use the alcohol swab. It's just best to get all the ink out. Um, so we'll just gently rub on that area. Um, what you can also do just to for safety um, is just unplug the printer from the back in order to do that and um, or you can just do it as we are doing it now without turning the printer off um, but you do not want to just press the power button for that if you want to turn the printer off because it'll slide these over and you won't, won't have access to it so we'll let that dry in the meantime we'll just clean the cartridge especially the one that has given us the air so just basically Gently wipe on this area um, and this area, like where the nozzles are. You can also clean with the same swab. You can just tap on the paper towel. It seems like the color is correct here. Um, it's given us a proper stamp of three colors. They all seem to be good. So we're going to do the same thing here with the black cartridge. Both cartridges seem pretty healthy to me honestly. So it could be just, uh, it could be a few things. It could be a bad cartridge. Um, it could be something that you refilled and it got damaged while you were refilling it. That's why it's giving that error. So we're just going to close these and instead of put, putting them right back in we're going to Go ahead and close the printer and reset it by turning the printer off. Now we have the printer off. I just like to disconnect it from the back and wait a few seconds, about 10 seconds, before we plug it back in. After about 10 seconds, let's plug it back in. The printer tries to go uh, turn on right by itself without me pressing the power button, but if your printer doesn't go on, make sure you press the power button and let the printer restart. Now we have the standard message that the cartridges are missing. We're going to go ahead and reinstall the cartridges. Open up the printer. Lift these clamps. Install the color cartridge first. And the black cartridge. And let's close the printer. So I put the cartridge back in after cleaning everything and it's still giving me the error. And it still shows that the colored cartridge is the problem one. Um, I know at this point I need to replace the ink cartridge. Um, but we can also, in order, if, if you really need to print something and uh, you don't have time to go buy another cartridge or wait for it to arrive, what you can do is just um, pull out the problem cartridge and use the single cartridge um, set up in the printer. So let's go ahead and just remove the col uh, colored cartridge, the one that's given us the air. Um, you can go ahead and maybe work with it and see if uh, you can try to fix it but usually at this point it's something that needs to be replaced now the printer is going into the single cartridge mode uh, if both cartridges are installed 
make sure the plastic tape if, uh, but it just shows that it's just going to use the one black cartridge to print um, your jobs that you're trying to send through and that's something that could be done for a little bit because you don't want to use just one cartridge for it unless you want to and it's cheaper for you just to refill the black ink and go ahead and use it with one cartridge um, then if you need to use if you need to print something in color you'll need to get the color cartridge um, you can do vice versa with the color cartridge um, and it's just going to produce all colors including the black with the three colors if you need to if you're out of the black one or if you need to just use single cartridge mode for the color cartridges um, so basically that's that that's as far as I'll go with the troubleshooting this issue usually that's what it requires either replacing a cartridge cleaning that area um, and then you can always bypass it or use an alternative way of using one or the other cartridge on this printer which is a good thing um, thank you for watching please like share and subscribe and have a wonderful day thank you